Price and Queen, Queen Creek. Creek. Yep. Our new home on Monday. So we encourage you to come out and join us tonight for the Bills and the Jets. Always a good battle in the state of New York. So uh, that's good stuff. Uh, this is our G2G Protein Bar Game Changers from the weekend. Speaking of G2G and G2G Protein Bars, they're now available at Costco. And they're available in the refrigerated section. They're not sitting outside, uh, you know, where all the other ones are. They're all dry and just they're just not fresh. These are fresh. They are in the refrigerator, in the refrigerated section at, G, at, at Costco. And you can go to G2GBar.com. So I have two. And it's going to start with the now Heisman candidate, Cam Scadaboo. Did to convert on, th- on fourth down. And the flat, guess who? Scadaboo. Oh, and he trucks it. Nice Levitt hands it off. Scadaboo changing direction. Lowers his strong leg. Lewis handles the kickoffs. There is Scadaboo. Wow. Coach told us yards after contact. I mean, he is taking on defenders, making a miss, and then look, Derrick Henry stiff on the line of scrimmage. Levitt moving the pocket, backside pressure, throw down field. Who else? Slide protection. You get away from him. You do a nice job of buying yourself some time, and then lobbing what. Why not? Ten seconds. Scadaboo. Big time run, big time player in a big game, a big conference game. How about Cam Scadaboo? Third game of the season, more than 150 yards rushing. He's now fifth in the nation, and he was just named Big 12 Offensive Player of the Week for the third time this season. I think it's safe to say we can put him in the Heisman conversation uh, now, and if he can continue what he is doing, there's no reason why he – should not be invited to New York on what he's doing and could be the first ever Heisman Trophy recipient for Arizona State. Staying with Arizona State as a bonus, how about the Sun Devil hockey team shocking number 10 Michigan with two goals in the final minute of regulation to get to a shootout win? Here is here's the first. It was 3-1. Three, three, one. Three, one. Here is the first goal uh, to get it a 3-2. Passes to Sillinger. Now back. A rip and a shot. He scores. Noah Beck has been outstanding in the first five seconds seconds of his Sun Devil career. How he brings him within one. Then it's three, two. This happens with just seconds remaining. I think it was at 80 foot shot 80 feet in the final 50 seconds devils have to move quickly beck drops it off for potter he'll fire it and he scores it's a career bounce oh my goodness they tied the game boy i missed the hockey horn then it gets us into the (laughs) overtime in the shootout and what's interesting in college, a shootout win is recorded as a tie for both teams. So ASU now 1-2-1. One, and one. Here's the final call after uh, they uh, won in the shootout. Moves in with speed. Hughes fires and another save by Homer. And that will do it. What a win for Arizona State. An improbable win, trailing by two with under a minute to play. They bring it to overtime, then a shootout. And who wins it? No one but Cullen Potter. What a series. So ASU Hockey, there you have it. Uh, congrats to them uh, at taking one of two from Michigan. All right, Manuch. Uh, my G2G Protein Bars game changers are basically as the L.A. Dodgers staff up until today Here's Ben Kasparius retiring Starling Marte to seal the Dodgers shutout win and tie a playoff record with their 33rd straight scoreless inning. That's only three hits in this game. Three singles, had a few walks, 
not much of a threat in this one. Game one, one-sided. Nine to nothing. The Dodgers over the Mets. And tied the major league record, 33 consecutive scoreless innings in the postseason. Having last allowed a run at 6.45 on Tuesday night. The pitching is Ten seconds. good. So the Mets will look to wipe this one quickly. Less than 24 hours from now, we'll have a shot to get back at the Dodgers with game two in Sean Manaya. All right, thanks to the to Fox and the LA Dodgers pitching staff up until today as they became the third team in Major League Baseball playoff history to have three consecutive shutouts in postseason and tie a Major League mark of 33 scoreless innings. They have now tied the, the 1905 Giants and the 1966 Orioles. That is my G2 Gene protein bar. Game changers, the LA Dodgers staff, up until today. Up until today, yeah. because I, think I jinxed them. You did, because now it's 6 <laughs> nothing Mets in the top of the fourth inning over the Dodgers. Uh, my G2G bar is, and I know Rock is upset, but he did play a sensational game. The quarterback of the Ducks, Dylan Gabriel, he goes 23 of 34, 341 yards, two touchdowns. He rushes four times for 32 yards, and that includes a touchdown as well in the Ducks' one-point win over the Ohio State Buckeyes. It was a sensational game to watch. But Dylan Gabriel, as we just talked about, Cam Scadaboo of ASU, getting his name now mentioned into the Heisman conversation. Dylan Gabriel's name after that big victory on the way he played is also in that conversation as well. That is my G2G Bar Player of the Weekend. So there you have it, G2G Protein Bars. We've been talking about them quite a bit. It's not your average stale off-the-shelf protein bar. I'm telling you, they're fantastic. They have eight flavors. My personal favorite is the peanut butter, banana, chocolate. And what makes them so delicious is they're fresh, no preservatives. They're stored in the refrigerator. You can pack one in your lunch. You can put it in your golf bag. Great way to get some solid protein and some healthy fats into your diet. So check it out for yourself in the refrigerated section at Costco or just head to G2GBar.com. Get one today, G2GBar.com. We're out here at the Trophy Bar in 